make sure I put my hair up. All right, guys, listen. I'm finna give y'all some story shit. I'm finna give y'all some game. This gonna make a lot of you guys cry and a lot of you guys look at your woman differently. And I'm just gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. And I just gotta keep it real with y'all. Guys, listen to me and listen to me clear. You're being manipulated. You're falling for the game. You're falling for the game. Listen, if you think that your girl not texting other guys, then you're fucking retarded. If you think that your girl haven't fucked no other dick but yours, then you're fucking retarded. Hear me out now. Guys think this. If you ain't heard from a girl in a day or two or she been acting funny and all of a sudden she tell you something or say something to reel your dumb ass back in. Every man done been through it. Then you get happy. But I'm here to shit in your fucking cornflakes. For example, for the last two or three days this girl ain't really been texting you back. You don't know what's going on. You sick to your stomach. And on the fourth day she writes you and say, Baby, I had COVID, and um, I really miss you, and I love you. Now you feel like, oh, shit, I was tripping for three or four days. I knew I, hey, I'm back to shit. Y'all balance yourself on how many bitches you got in your rotation. No, you got to know you a king. You see that king? You see that king? You have to know you a king when you have no bitches or you have a lot of bitches. You have to know you the man with the bitches or without bitches. But don't let me derail from what I'm talking about. So, so when she tell you something like, but I love you, baby. Let me tell you something from a guy that know and karma a motherfucker. So Jesus, forgive me. God, forgive me. I repent. But let me tell you something that I done seen with my own eyes. My dick done seen. My third leg done seen. Let me tell you something. The biggest lies that women tell. The biggest lie is I never cheat on you. Let me tell you some real life stories that I don't witness firsthand myself. And you guys let this make y'all feel good. Y'all feel like this. Who is no way she could be doing me wrong if she just said that. A girl can text you and say, Baby, I'm horny. I want to fuck. It'll make you feel like, hell yeah, I'm the only one giving her that dick. A girl can text you that while she taking back shots. I promise you. A girl can tell you that she love you and can't wait till y'all get married while she sucking dick. I've been getting my dick sucked while a girl told her got it. I've been hitting the girl from the back as she texts that. Do y'all not understand? I done had girls say, hell yeah, I cook you the pork chop and I'm going to have it ready after work. And put her phone on me and say, baby, you're going to have to hurry up for you find out. A lady can tell you that you are special and you have the best dick ever. As soon as she get off the phone with him, she say, baby, his dick can't compare to yours. Y'all feel so comfortable we getting validation. Y'all love talking about a woman need to be validated. No, a nigga need to be validated. As soon as that girl tell you you got good sex, you got the best dick, she love you, she love being in your arms, you are the only guy she love, you get the feeling like you're the only one. That's her goal is to make you feel like you're the only one. Guys, you are not the only one. And let me tell you how I know. Look at you, guy. Don't you text other girls? Don't you fuck around with other girls? Don't say it in the comment section just in case your girl watching. So do they. What's the fucking difference? A girl can be sucking your dick. I'm going to tell y'all about one of the craziest situations happened to me. A girl, listen, y'all. This is the craziest situation that happened to me. A girl pulled up. She kept looking out the window. Swear to God. I asked her. 
What you got, an X or something? You done drop your location? What the fuck you doing? She was like, nah, they trying to repo my car. I'm like, your brand new truck, you just got that shit. Yeah, they trying to repo it. Me and my husband ain't paid the last three payments, but when I get my taxes, I'ma do it. Bad. Word, and he ain't got no weed at the crib. I took that blunt to come down here. He mad. Word. That's my word. This girl done sucked my dick at least a hundred times. I have never fucked her on everything. This girl drive two to three hours just to suck my dick. No bullshit. I give her nothing. That's my word. I don't deserve to give her nothing. She's a married woman. And I know y'all gonna say karma, karma, karma. Yes, you also get karma for stealing. You get karma for lying. You get karma for not being a peacemaker. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm going to repent. I have repent. Don't worry about me and my salvation. But with that said, guys, this is no bullshit. It don't make sense. This girl gave me $1,300. Told me she got back her settlement. Gave me $1,300. I asked her why. I got like $14,000 was sitting on the table. She said, because you big daddy and I love you. I said, word, well, it's good to know you done paid the truck, you done got, you done got the insurance right, I'm happy to see that. She said, baby, I'm working on that next. They supposed to send the second part of it. And she sucking my dick, her husband called, she said, hold on, she still sucking dick. She said, nothing, I told you I'm sick. She still sucking, she didn't even slow up. She said, nigga, I took that blunt. He was like, what? I couldn't hear what he was saying. I guess so. She's like, I took it. No, I told you, you're not getting shit. Watch the kids. Get them off the bus. I'll be there in a second. I'm not giving you shit. No, I'm not bringing you no Zaspies. And I'm thinking, nothing on the menu at Zaspies is over $20. And she just gave me $1,300. So, that ought to tell you guys, I treat her like trash, and she treat me like a king. He treat her like a queen, she treat him like trash. Do not let that go over your head. So, this bitch gave me $1,300, and now she's trying to figure out how she's going to pay for her truck. And her husband don't got nothing to smoke, and he don't got no gas to get the kids. And she drove two hours and sucked the dick and went and got me all type of air fresheners, toilet paper. She do some shit called couponing. Ladies, let me know in the comments say you know what couponing is. She said she got $100 worth of stuff for $18. I'm talking about I got everything, everything, everything. But I'm here to tell you guys to hurt your feelings. Your girl is not loyal. Listen, if it's a million women, 999,000 is unloyal. And it's only 100,000 that's loyal. If it's 100 women in the room, 99 is loyal. The others are not. And guys, let me tell you this. I'm fussing at a woman. It's not going to make her keep her pussy to herself. By putting your hands on her, it's not going to make her keep her pussy just to you. You cannot control a woman. That is her vagina. And for no reason, you should fuss nor put your hand physically or mentally abuse a woman. If you can't deal with what she doing, then just leave. And you don't owe her no fucking explanation. She'll find out that you walked in the house and saw Joy with her legs up and you have no reason to crash out and kill Joy or Tyrone or whatever his name is. When you fuck his bitch too, he's not raping her. It's her. It's not your bitch if somebody else can fuck her. But I'm just here to tell you, man. I know that feeling. You don't talk to a girl or you talk to her and it seems like she falling back. Then she see you that text like I love being in your arms or I miss you or you just this and this and that. And it make you feel like, oh yeah, this still my bitch. Yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, that's your bitch. Yeah, that's your bitch. 
Yeah, yeah, she just manipulating you, man. Girls don't want you. They want your attention. Girls don't want you. They want your attention. Let me tell you how. I, I'm a handsome guy. I'm 6'7". Was 6'6". Six, six. The doctor just told me I'm 6'7". I'm going to tell you how I can prove to you that a girl wants your attention. Ghost a girl for no reason and watch how she would text and call you and be asking you why and what did she do wrong. If you break that no contact and tell her what she done wrong. She'll never take a fuck with you again. A woman just can't take rejection. And if you even text her back. Or give her the ups again. She'll never let you get it back. So if she wanted you. This is common sense. The math gotta be mathing. If she wanted you when she fuck with you. But no. She just wanted your attention. She got your attention. And now she gone. She can forever say that I won. See, a lot of bitches be in competition with niggas. A lot of niggas be in competition with bitches instead of working together and building their competition together. I done had bitches tell me, I just got as many likes as you. Why the fuck you care about likes? I just got as many views as you just got. Why the fuck you... You had to show your ass to get 100,000 views. I didn't even show my goddamn muscles to get no views. We are not the same. Bitch, I could have been a pimp the way I moved my lip. With that said, y'all put King Von in the damn comment section. I could have been a pimp the way I move my lips. Drop the mic. I could have been a pimp the way I move my lip. And that, man, listen. Y'all have a blessed day, man. I'm gone. Gang. Shit, man.